What's up, gamers? We're back with another WWE Immortals video, and today we're going to talk about gear. I've been getting a lot of questions inside of my comment section about what kind of gear cards I have, how I got the gear cards, how do I augment them, how do I advance them, and so on. And I, I almost always place in the top 10% in the vents. And so I have a lot of gear cards that I can scrap right now. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to scrap all of my duplicate cards. So you can see right there above the rock I have a 2, there's a 2 there. And I'm just going to go through and scrap all the ones that have 2's on them. So I click on that and I hit scrap. And it's scrapped. Alright, let's do another one. Let's go into the dumbbells, we'll scrap that. I, I usually will scrap also most of the one star gear cards. I just don't think they're that useful. But you know, it just depends on, on what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, WrestleMania, what is this? This is a new card I just got right now. All right, let's scrap a couple of those. Yeah, I've not seen that card. I'm gonna have to develop that card. Okay, so I'm just gonna just go through and scrap all my duplicates. And I'm actually going to um, develop that card right there. Okay. I have not seen this card. And I'll just show off some of my favorite cards. This one's probably my favorite card. It's my only three star one. Basically a 53% damage boost. And there's this forge button. And I can forge and it can go up in levels. And that's how you advance it is you press forge. When you scrap the cards, you get the items. Now the one thing that a lot of people ask is how do you get it to the, for the final boost when you need these purple ones. And the only way you can get those purple ones is by scrapping a three star. And I just gotta tell you, that's not happening for me anytime soon. All right, this is a, a card. Uh, this is another one of my good cards. We got face paint, 38% damage boost. Uh, this is also one of my favorite ones right here, 29% damage boost. Right here, I've got a health bonus, 12% max health. I have not augmented any of my cards because I haven't had any duplicate three stars. Okay, now this is the one that I got from the event, and I'm going to forge this. I think this might be a good card. I, I just want to see how this works. Um, let's see, it's going to cost me a thousand, so I'm going to forge it once. We're going to forge again. So it's basically a adrenaline regen is going up. Oh, okay, so I've got a lot of resources for this. Let's see how many times I can do it. Okay, so the end result is that I get a 0.4% inactive health regen increase, and then I've got an inactive adrenaline regen increase. I hope this is uh, useful. I, I am going to test that out right now because I want to see how that works. I'm also going to scrap some of the, the one-star cards that I don't think are that useful Let's see, health leather helmet. Okay, I'm gonna scrap both of these. I just don't think they're useful. All right, scrap. Confirm, I don't like that card. And let's go, let's see, rogue's dagger. I'll keep that just cause it's a two star. The briefcase, no, that's not good. I'm gonna scrap that. Although I don't really know what I would use that for. Let's see. I might use that. Let's see what we got here. Health increase. I don't mind those health increase ones. Damage boost to signature 2. I don't use my signature 2 very often. Uh, it's just something that I don't use. Um, be mostly because I'm, I'm not playing on an iPad and I can't use two fingers for most of the signature twos. Some people can double tap with two fingers and I think that's what works well. I'm going to take that new card into battle just for kicks. I want to try it out. I'm curious and then we'll wrap this video up. I like playing the very, very, very last stage of the game which is bonus battle six. And I'll just run through one battle real quick and just see if it's... Uh, better to use the damage boost or if that adrenaline thing is useful. So let's bring in my Trish Stratus and I'm going to put my best three star card on there which gives huge bonuses. So that's the 53% bonus, the 38% bonus and then this is that new card that I just got from the last event. And let's also bring in Necromancer here pretty soon. Necromancer is in, and I will use this sword. 
I like this card right there. And then also let's do a health bonus. Not that the Necromancer needs any health bonus. And then for kicks, I, lately I've just been really uh, like this Macho King. I, I like this ability right here where the health and attack valet is boost by 20%. That's just huge for helping out Trish Stratus. And I'll just put a defensive card on there where he gets a 13%. Let's go into battle and see how, if this... I want to see this adrenaline regen work. Uh, this... I mean, hoping that this card is good. Now, this is a pretty hard battle right here. Let's see how it goes. All right, we're going up against Demon Kane. Uh, see, so normally she would do about 2,600 damage. And so I'm sacrificing... 300 points of damage for health regen and uh, adrenaline gain. I don't know if that's worth it. I don't see the health bar moving much. I don't know. I, I would thought that there would be like a little green plus thing going right now, but I don't see it. Let me know in the comments section if you think that card that I upgraded is worth using. I'm not really sure. I mean, I'll try it out, but I just don't see, like, the health going up at all, for that matter. And it doesn't seem like the, the adrenaline is really going any faster than it was. I think I would rather have that other 300 points of damage, you know, than what I'm getting right now. Alright, I'm going to use the third signature to knock out Triple H here in a second and then I'll go and use my Necromancer for the rest of the battle. Oh, I think I'm coming down with a cold. My voice is starting to sound all weird. Alright, let's we'll switch over to Necromancer. And yeah, let's just take him out. I don't really care. I haven't developed my Randy Savage at all yet, you know, but I'll do his special just to show it off because it's funny to me. No, he's going to die. He's <laughs> dead. All right, Necromancer needs to come back in and finish this battle off. Come on. See right there I can use two fingers, but what I'm talking about is the ones where you tap. I can't really use two fingers and do it quick enough. Anyhow, leave a comment in the section below if you think that that new gear card that I just upgraded is worth using. I really don't think it is after playing that. I couldn't really see any advantage to do that. I'd rather have the damage boost. And I don't even know if it would be better than having like a 10 or 12% health boost. Anyhow, keep on gaming and thanks for watching.